But I do want to talk specifically about Alvin Kamara because he has not scored a touchdown since week three. Back in week three, just to give you a heads up about how long ago this was, Marcus Mariota was still the Titans starting quarterback, rest in peace. Uh, Daniel Jones led a comeback win over the Buccaneers in his NFL, uh, his first NFL start. So a couple of things have changed since the last time Alvin Kamara scored a touchdown, and yet the touchdownless drought is up to nine games. This has led to a dip in Kamara's salary, all the way down to $7,200. He's in a game where the Saints will want to win, which could mean that we would want to invest in Kamara. It's just hard to know whether we should keep doing so. I've lost a lot of money on this dude this year, so it's hard to get over that mental block of, I'm going to use him again, why not? On the one hand, he's still getting awesome volume. Since the bye week, he is averaging 11 carries and 8 targets per game. That is 27 adjusted opportunities per game. For $7,200, you'll take that every time. And the floor has been there, too. He has double-digit Fandle points in every game except for one since his last touchdown. He's averaged 11.5 Fandle points per game in that span. If he were to score, Alvin Kamara would pay off very, very easily. It's just hard to say if he scores when the Saints are so happy to give goal line usage to others. But it's not like they're going elsewhere. They've just been super pass-happy on the goal line recently. They've had 14 plays inside the five since Kamara returned from that ankle injury. And 10 of those 14 have been passes versus four rushes. Kamara does have two of the four rush attempts, while Latavius Murray has one. Taysom Hill has none. Uh, Drew Brees is a rushing touchdown. This, the Titans rank fourth against the rush and 16th against the pass, which I think is actually a good thing for Kamara because it should favor Kamara over Latavius. So I'm inclined to go with Kamara again. He has major imperfections, but his floor is still very good. His salary accounts for his imperfections. And, like, I again, I think he's one of those guys that's at least in consideration for cash. He's not a priority there, but, like, he's a consideration there. So I've got a lot of cash game running backs I'd consider. I wish some of them were on the Saturday slates, but I could use them there. But they're not. Uh, but, Brandon, I know you are generally more wary of Kamara than I am by a pretty wide margin. So what are your thoughts on Kamara this week at $7,200? The price has drawn me back in. He's not eighty two hundred dollars. He's yeah. not even like seventy nine hundred dollars. He's seventy two. Yeah. I think that is a much more appropriate price for what Alvin Kamara's role has been, especially again near the goal line. And it's not it's not like it's Dalvin Cook kind of not getting like some goal line touches. It's the Saints will literally throw the ball to anybody. They will hand the ball to anybody near the the end zone because they just want to score and that is good for a team bad for fantasy and so my biggest concern always with Alvin Kamara is just whether or not he converts on the touchdowns uh now this week it's not a good rushing matchup but uh the the Titans are 20th in target success rate allowed to running backs Kamara's got such great target volume uh that that helps it I'm probably going to get there. I think price considered he's a top three play. That doesn't mean that I'm going to play him absolutely. But I think really when you adjust for that low of a salary for someone like Alvin Kamara in this game with something on the line, he's one of the best plays on the slate. I should have a spreadsheet with this, but I was trying to find the last time he was $7,200. And that, that that salary change is very justified because, again, the, there are concerns. He hasn't looked as good since he came back. I thought he... Showed some burst on Monday night. It didn't translate into, like, a ton. But I thought he looked good. Like, you know, hashtag watch the tape, bro. Thought he looked pretty good. Um, And he's $7,200. So, like, I know this dude has contributed significantly to some bad bankroll stuff this year. But I don't want that to push me off someone who is objectively in a very good spot. 